All right, so I'm gonna be proving that zero divided by zero is equal to two. So to do this, I'm gonna first start with zero divided by zero. So zero divided by zero, this is the same thing as one minus one over one minus one because one minus one is zero, so zero over zero, one minus one over one minus one. Now one minus one over one minus one, this is the same thing as 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10. Again, 10 minus 10 is zero, so I have zero over zero again. Now 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10, this is the same thing as 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. Again, 100 minus 100 is zero, so it's the same thing. Now, I'm actually going to simplify 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. So 100 is the same thing as 10 squared, right? So this is the same thing as 10 squared minus 10 squared for our numerator, because 10 squared is 100, so 100 minus 100 is the same thing as 10 squared minus 10 squared. And for my denominator, 10 squared, this is the same thing as 10 minus 10. So I'm going to write 10, mi 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10. And this is again equal to zero. This is still zero over zero. And now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So 10 squared minus 10 squared, this is equal to 10 plus 10 times 10 minus 10. So again, this is completely legal. I'm just using a property of exponents. And for my denominator, I'm actually going to factor out 10. So now I get 10 times 10 minus 10. So now I can actually go ahead and cancel these two 10 minus 10s out. So now I'll be left with 10 plus 10 over 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. So I have 20 over 10, which is equal to 2. So I just proved that 0 over 0 is equal to 2. Now, obviously, 0 over 0 is not equal to 2. And the mistake in this proof is right here when I canceled out 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10. So what is 10 minus 10? 10 minus 10 is 0. So I'm technically canceling out 0 and 0. And remember, 0 over 0 is not equal to 1. So I can't actually cancel these two out because that's essentially saying, implying that zero over zero is one, which it's not. So that's a mistake in this proof and zero divided by zero is not two. All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of X is equal to 36. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I've log nine to the power of X is equal to log 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 9 to the power of x. And I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 9 is equal to log 36. Now, if I divide both sides by log 9, These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, log 36, that's the same thing as log of 9 times 4. So I have that over log of 9. And this is the same thing as, well, if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. If log 9 times 4, that's going to equal log 9 plus log 4. And I have this over log 9. So now this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9.
log 9 and log 9, these two cancel out. So I have x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. And log 4 here, that's the same thing as log of 2 squared. For log 9, that's the same thing as log of 3 squared. So now I can move 2 to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 3. Now these two 2's cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log of 2 over log 3. Now, log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301, and log 3, this is equal to 0 0.477. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.477. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.631, which is equal to 1.631. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 5 to the power of x. So now I have 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now 1 plus 1, that's 2, so I have 5 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 7. And now I can divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out, and now I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. If I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is equal to b times log a. So in this case, log 5 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 7 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 7 over 2 over log 5. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So in this case, log 7 over 2, that's going to equal log 7 minus log 2. And I have this over log 5. Now, log 7, this is equal to 0 0.8451. Log 2 is equal to 0 0.3070, and log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So x is equal to 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3070 over 0 0.6990, which is equal to 0 0.7784. 